everyone, it's Marcy Bresiker. I am a coach and manager with Fun Stampers Journey. Why don't you come on in, have a seat, and let's get crafty. Hi everyone, it's Marcy Bessiker. Today I just wanted to do a short video, a little bit about our journey jewelry and our planners. I'm really starting to get into the planners. Um, I used to have day timers a long time ago. Those were not as fun as these. Um, our planners now, I have two different ones. I have the smaller one here, which is a five by eight and the eight and a half by 11 I have here. And my thought was the first one was to doodle and the second one was to put my planning in and I kind of put my planning in both although I need to look at them more often which is my goal in having my planners. I want to be able to have one I can throw on my purse and another one I can have open here at my desk. I can see what's coming up, what needs to be done and um, kind of I kind of coincide the candles, the planners but I like to have the small one available for me in my purse. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the planners. Also some really fun jewelry. Our jewelry is rhodium plated and I want to show you the functionality of it and kind of how they work and the different options that you have to do with the jewelry. So that's kind of the plan today. Just a quick video on both items. Um, I've had a lot of people say wow jewelry and a stamping catalog is kind of odd. I thought so too at first and until I went to convention and actually saw the jewelry and touched it and looked at it and saw how it was. I absolutely love it because you can create with the jewelry and that's what I want to show you today. And um, the planners, again, you can doodle, you can draw, you can stamp. Um, they are a lot of fun to do too. So let's get busy. I want to show you um, the journals um, and the planners first. So let me show you here. On page 232 in our catalog, it shows you, now my setup's a little off today because I was trying to do a live and my computer wasn't cooperating, so, um, which is okay because now I'm here to do this with you today. So I'm going to try and fix my lighting so I don't have such a big glare. Okay, so we have the 5x8 journals here, and this is the one I have here. And then we have the eight and a half by 11. And this one is a cool pool color, like a greenish blue color. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. And then this one's the beautiful silver with hearts one that I have here. And it is so pretty. I love it. I, of course, added with um, um, vinyl, my my bloom here from Fun Stampers Journey, my M, and then my name here. So fun stuff there. So now what I want to show you, I'm trying to fix the lighting again. Got some weird lights going on here. Is the different things you can get. So you have your personal calendar here, and this is 2017, 2018. We're already able to get the 2018. And then we have the larger ones here. And then I want to show you here, we have all of these fun dividers and stickers. And this over here are photo sleeves that you can insert and add different photos or little tickets or things that you need. So I'm going to show you what one of the divider kits looks like. So this one here is the Journey Days Journey Divider Kit, and I have this one here, the black and white one. And it comes with your, just a plastic protection, your vellum that says Loving the Journey. And then these are the tabs that we have here. So we have Noteworthy, My Journey, Inspiration, Be Amazing, and The Calendar. The calendar, like I showed you, is purchased separately, but each section here gives you some different notes, and this has some dates, and there's several pages on each of these. Be amazing, so it has a, a spot for you here. Let me see if I can fix this lighting. 
this is better or worse. My lighting, for some reason, is just gets crazy in here. I'm going to try and open the window and see if that's any better. So, here we go. So, you have the Be Amazing and... And you even have a grid back here. And then, of course, it gets to your calendar. And each, each of these dividers have a really fun print on them that could go with any journal. Okay, so there's that. So what I wanted to show you on these, this one I don't have as much stuff in. Um, we, we did get these, these ones here are from our convention. So you don't get those, but you will get these, the monthly view. This is the larger one. This is the different, a different, uh, different selection here. And then you have the calendar. So now when you get back here, this one has the weekly view. So when you open it, you have the whole week at a view. Now back here, you have the tabs. And so when you open up the month, you have the month and you can doodle on it and play on it. Um, I, I did do some. This was convention this this year, I believe. But I but I kind of switched over to the small one, so um, you can see this one. I really have a lot of space now to doodle. You never want to get rid of your old calendars because this gives you stuff to doodle with and play. And I'll show you my small one. This I received from a swap from somebody at convention. So they gave me this was their swap and to go into our journal, which was really fun. And the thing about these um, planners, they're from Webster's Pages. So you can see right here, ours are all nicely stitched. Ours are an uh, upgraded version from something that you would buy in the store from Webster's Pages. And we have some unique things. We have this beautiful bloom here which is our company logo. And it's really nice. It's an enamel type uh, nice magnetic fit snap and then oh this one's not magnetic I, I'm sorry just a snap and then we have this beautiful bloom on the edge there that says that's ours okay then we have a small one oh let me show you this too we have these beautiful tassels and these charms that you can get I have a shoe and a purse on this one this one I have a credit card sunglasses, the purse, and the shoe, and then our, our bloom. And then what I like about this one is, and this can go in both. I might have it in the other one, but this is kind of like an elastic um, pull, and it says today on it. And so you can just kind of wrap it around your your day or where you're at or wherever you, whatever you want blocked and then that way you can just kind of go through and know exactly where you want to turn your page to and then on this book you can see here I did some flowers I did some really pretty little blue flowers they came in white and we sell them in our catalog. They're super soft, super thin. They are paper. And I just colored them and then I added our little um, rhinestones there in the middle. And then here is our, our um, little birthday clips that we have. Super cute. Let's see. 
Oh, this I did on a card, but this is a stamp and it's a fringe, but I used the Project Me. I made myself a Project Me um, create a palette. And so I just put the different colors on it that I wanted, which are these colors. And then that's what helped me create this fun background here. I thought this was a lot of fun. October is a fun month because it's my birthday. So we did, a, I decorated that one up. In August, um, I did some little flowers here, a little butterfly, put some washi tape. I put one of our little busy signs here. My blinds were installed, thank goodness. Okay, so then we have little dies like this that are pockets. And you can do it with two papers and put them side by side. You can have two different sides or you can do um, printed paper and do two different sides, whatever. And I added some little flowers. These I received at um, convention. These were swaps, cute, cute, cute swaps. I wanna make some of those, I have not yet, but really cute. I really like those. Okay, so that's a little bit about our planners. They're super nice, a very nice um, material, durable, I love them. I just need to play with them more. Okay, now that's a little bit about our planners. Now I wanna show you about our jewelry. So you can see here, it says happy love. It has a little wooden heart and never give up. This was made, somebody made it. Um, this is in our catalog, of course, one of our um, demonstrations that Richard had installed in the catalog. And it is a beautiful sentiment. It looks like maybe some splash, some electric lime um, silk, and they colored the little wooden stamp and they stamped and inserted it into a necklace. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. Um, and a little bit about our different different um, types of jewelry. And then here is a beautiful purse. It is so nice. It's big, it's very handy, and it's our signature tote. And this is an insert that you can put inside. And it snaps on the sides here. And it, so it's an insert. So you can have this as a big duffel type bag, or you can put this in it and make it more of a purse. And I just love mine. Here is a bunch of um, different choices of, there's some different chains here. Let me get the glare off for you. Different change, uh, different different change, chains and different sizes. So this one has like a 24 and a 20. This one is 23. This one is 20, 24, and 34. So there's a lot of different sizes. What I found that I like is I like the longer ones but I also like to shorten them up. So I have gotten two of the long ones and then I shorten it up in the back and clip the chain just a little shorter for you know a different charm or necklace or whatever and then let it just dangle down my back a little bit. That way I'm always good to go with the larger ones and I really like that. These right here are the solid ring hoops and I'm gonna show you on the necklace I'm wearing that this is the, right here, the, the crystal ring and hoop. So I have the crystal ring and hoop right here. And these are Swatsky crystals and everything is rhodium plate. So I'll be honest, I'll take my necklaces off and lay them on the bathroom counter and take a shower and maybe I won't wear the necklace for a few days and then They've all, I've had these over a year and they're still sparkly, shiny, and they're in great, great shape. I just want to show you these. It's kind of hard to show you in this light, but. So there is that. And I want to show you how these work. Let me fly on my glasses here so I can see. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this aside and quickly there's a whole bunch more. Over here you can see the different charms and backgrounds and some different things and I'm going to be showing you 
and these are called tower plates. And that's the one that I showed you in the front here that has this in it. And then these are all the little charms and then some more types of necklaces. So if you want to go on my website and it's listed above, go to the journey, um, the bloom collection, it's called the bloom collection. And you can see all the different types of jewelry, different things you can do, but I want to show you how they work. I'm going to set this aside. I have some dark paper here so you can see. So here is the necklace I was just telling you about. And you can get it in the Swarovski crystals or without, either way you want. And I'm going to show you a little, some, some different things here. So this is a, the chain with the little... Now this is a new chain. Let me see what the name of that is so I can show you. Let me see. Just had it here. It's the detailed link chain. So the detailed link chain. Okay, so that's this one. Like I said, it's all rhodium plated. And that one is 34 inches long. Okay, so here's another one that what I did is I have the clear plate on the black back and I took some of our pearl black paper and I just punched a hole out with that. And then I put our dragonfly on it. focused here. So there's that. Okay. And then, so how this works is here is one of our, this is the, the stone one. I, prefer, I, I really like the stone ones because they're so glimmery, but you don't have to have the glimmery one. I have one in here that is not. See if I can find it. Here we go. Here's a small one. So this one is a regular without the crystals. It's just the silver. Or maybe a more casual. And then these are the crystal ones. Okay, so how this works is you open it up so you can tell that it has three hoops there and the one goes in the center. So it really makes you know that it's not gonna, you know, if something should come undone or th these are solid circles. There's no, um, there's no opening in these circles, okay? So you can either put your charm in here like this, lay it down, and then close this up so you have your butterfly in there, like that. So you have your, your butterfly. Oops. You can take your small one or your large one, either one. I have a dome front on this one. You can put a pink back in there. And you can add on something here. Let's say you want to add your coffee. And so now you have your coffee charm in there. Now you can also take that out. You can put your clear on both sides like this one. And you can put your charm so they wiggle. There's a dome glass on the front and back. So you can wiggle your stuff and it'll just hang there nicely. You do not have to have your hoop like I have here. You do not have to have that on all of them. You can just wear it just like this if you'd like. Or you can take, and I have another one here, you can add it on and have it again. I like having several different ones instead of switching them out because I like to wear my necklaces a lot. So 
I like to have one available to add something in it if I want to change differently. I wear this one a lot, I wear this one a lot, and I like to wear this one. So I have a little one if I want to switch it out and put the little charms in there. It just depends on what I'm wearing, what type of necklace, that type of thing. So these are really fun. Um, you can also put different backgrounds on them. You can, here's, I have a black one. You can take the turquoise out, put black. So there's all kinds. I mean, look how pretty that looks just by itself with just the black center with the stones around it. Closer if you can see very well. So. so that's really pretty too. Now we also have the tower charms. So here is the tower charm, and I have the rhinestones on this one. And so you can open it up. Same thing, it has the three openings. This one has like a little latch you can grab right there. So you can open this up, pop that out, and let's say we're gonna take out the flowers and I wanna do red. I'm gonna put my red one in. Hearts also have stones on them right here. This heart here at the bottom. Put that on. And there you go. You have a beautiful charm necklace. And again, this goes through three hoops. Slide it on your chain. And you're set. Now, another fun thing we have is on the small charm, Let's say you're going to take this out and it is the 4th of July or I was a Blue Star mom. My son was in the military. Um, my upline actually made this for me and you could just put this on there and now you have this beautiful America USA little pendant it has stars. And it has a little heart or a little flag charm. So you have all these different things you can put in there. So that's one idea. Another idea she did for me is, I believe she did these for me for my birthday last year. And this one, look how cute that is for Christmas time. It says peace. Has a snowflake, some sparkle, some stones. How fun is that? Another fun idea that I was thinking, and I haven't done it yet, I'm gonna see if it'll work. I'm gonna move this to the front and I'm gonna push the other dome in the back. And I have these fun rainbow drops. I use them on cards all the time, but how fun would these be to put them on our jewelry or in our jewelry, I guess I should say. Are they seal closed? Okay. So let's say that I just want something. I'm going to go with the little ones because they're not too big, but oh, which way is my stones? I don't have stones on this one, so I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to put in a yellow, oops, a yellow stone, a green stone, orange stone, Red, a purple, uh oh, cross contamination, and a blue. 
or you could put in, you know, whatever colors you're going to be wearing. Uh oh, you got to be careful of that dome glass on there. Let me do it this way. I want the the bubble side up, not the flat side, because this is the side I'm going to wear outwards. There. Now I'm just going to lay this on top because it will fall. And there, how cute is that? So all my little colored stones are in there. Now what you could do is, my upline also made this one. She took the stones, she put them on paper, some different sizes, and did a paper background. But how cute would that be if you just did, let's see if I have, well here's a black, if I put a black background on it. And you can see all the different colors or Oh, here we go. A pink one. So you can see all the colors. And so you can put the colors in that you need. You all, We also have these pretty things, the rhinestones. You could take those out and peel the sticker off the back and put one of those in there. The rhinestones. And we have pearls and hearts. I mean, how how fun would that be to put some pearls in there or a heart? So just some different ideas for Christmas time. These are new. These are the berries and we have the holly, the green ones that, that I used on a project. So they're all gone, but um, put those in there for the holiday season. So there's so much to do with these ideas that you can do. Now also with the small one I wanted to show you we have all of these beautiful charms we have the heart we have the filigree beautiful that is. I love this one. The filigree and probably the bloom are my favorites. I really like those a lot. I think because they're neutral. They go with just everything. And this one's gorgeous too. Which is just the solid. How pretty that is. just all solid sparkle. Now what else we have is this beautiful, it's, um, it has hearts, you can buy extra hearts and it's like a dream catcher. And the little hearts are inside and they're pink and red. And we do sell those separate too. But you can put confetti in here, you can add the little ones of these in here. There's all kinds of things you can do to add in there. And it's very solid, it's very nice. So that's something nice. Now what else I wanna show you is some of the other necklaces. Now this is, this necklace does not come with this, but I love this charm that says, make amazing happen. Looks like I put it on backwards but it's make amazing happen. And they're very, they're very heavy duty, very nice. So I chose to put it on the ball, the larger ball chain, because it's a little thicker, more casual, I think. This one, I wear a lot. We received this one as a gift, the managers did. And this one says dreams happen. And it has a little star. But I like how it has the three tones, the silver, the gold, and the bronze or copper look. Because that way, no matter what type of jewelry you wear, and of course nowadays everybody's wearing the mix, so it doesn't really matter. Just a couple other quick ones. Another, the longer ball and chain one that I received, I, 
I have this beautiful bloom that says RG on it. And it's a special one that Richard created. It's nice and heavy duty. It's like a dog tag type. And it's really nice and heavy. So I like that one too. I love them all. I, it's funny because I am a, I like jewelry, but I rarely wear custom jewelry. But I really do like um, the jewelry from Fun Stamper's Journey because it is rhodium plate. I don't have to worry about it. This is the small ball. How tiny that is compared to this. So that's the difference. This one's much more dainty, but it's fun. It's a ball one too. And this one's more like the dog chain type ball. Of course, it's much nicer and shinier and looks nicer than the regular dog tag ones. And I think that's it as far as the jewelry goes, except these beautiful bracelets. I wear them all the time. Make dreams happen and enjoy the journey. Those are the two sentiments. What a great gift idea for somebody that, you know, maybe is graduating or got a new job or just, you know, needs a little pick-me-up inspiration. Make dreams happen and enjoy the journey. These are fun. Um, I do have a larger wrist, so I was very skeptical about getting them. Um, we got to try them on at convention and Richard did say they do bend slightly. You could bend them just a tad. And so that's what I did. I went over to the booth at convention and thought, okay, if they bend a little, I'll give them a try. I didn't want to bend theirs, but I was able to, to know by just trying theirs on that if they bent just a tiny bit, I would be fine. I didn't want them too tight. And I didn't want them to hurt when I put them on and off. And I really love them. And like I said, same thing. Throw them on my bathroom counter. Um, I don't worry about the uh, tarnishing or anything like that. The rhodium plate, you, you just don't have to worry about that. So um, I do like that fact a lot. So anyway, that's just my little bit about some jewelry and some planners. Uh, we have so many to choose from and so many fun ideas. I really hope that you'll go to the website above, take a look at it, and see what's, what's what, what you like. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. And, of course, we always have a lot of fun stamping items and some new stuff, new fun stuff. Liquid color. I think I showed these in a video before. I love these. Um, my liquid blue is already down to here I'm going to get another one and it's, they they last a long time it's just that I did a lot of swap cards with these and I just really like the the liquid colors they're fun they're very fluid and I enjoy using them also the creative palette that I showed you I did a blue one also so there's my blue one and I also did a one that I named fall and I put the names on all the bottom of everything I did and then here is the fall one for leaves different things um, and I'll do a video on how to create your palette too because I've been asked to do that and I'm waiting for my blank palettes to come in and so as soon as they get in I'll do a video on that too anyway I hope this kind of gives you an idea of a little bit about our jewelry and our planners, different things than just stamping. You can, like I showed you with these other items, with these, you can stamp, you can create and make your own jewelry. I mean, you could take a letter and do an M in there. We have stamps that all different sizes, different letterings, different things. You could create something a little more, um, personalized for somebody and that would be a lot of fun too so anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys I hope you enjoyed the video again my website's up above go ahead and take a look you can go on and click on shop and just look around you can click on catalogs and then you can go page by page and take a look at the catalogs we do have our 
mini Christmas catalog available also that has a lot of fun things in it. There are some new bloom benefits in there and hostess exclusives also. And there are things in there for Halloween, Thanksgiving, for fall, for Christmas. And um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at all the beautiful options that you have. So take a look, have fun, enjoy the journey, and I hope to see you soon. Please subscribe and share my pages. I appreciate it. Thanks.